croeso i bysgota Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. We have a myriad of uh, small still waters and big waters that are open throughout the year in Wales. Uh, these are for stocked fish. Because they are stocked fish, they do not have a closed season. That means you can fish for them. There could be snow on the ground, there could be ice on parts of the lake, but you can very much fish for them. These, uh, the lakes will vary in size. You have very small still waters, literally from you know, under 10 acres through to what we have behind us here. So this is one of the larger lakes you can actually fish in Wales throughout the winter. Uh, this is Eglwys Nynydd, uh, which is 260 acres in size. Most people would have seen it. If you've traveled down the M4 corridor, you've seen Eglwys Nynydd. If I'm honest, you're probably thinking from the road, that looks like an eyesore and probably something you don't want to fish. However, when you get down here, you lose the sound or lose a lot of the sound of the traffic and you actually enter a very different world. So whilst it may look like a, a, a concrete bowl from the side, when you get down here, there's a lot of features and certainly worth, uh, worth visiting. Iglusnanith is literally located on the outskirts of Portalbert. So no matter if you're coming from the east or the west down the M4 corridor, a very accessible location. I've just got here from uh, West Wales this morning, even with a bit of work traffic, less than an hour, not too bad at all. Uh, just got here now, so we're just going to go to the booking office to check in and then tackle up and let's see what the day brings. The start of the day we haven't got any uh, fishing pressure around us the fish haven't had any fishing pressure yet today so what we're going to start off with we're actually going to start off with uh, a snake uh, definitely not uh, a very imitative pattern but uh, certainly one that can pull a few fish especially fish that are not again may not have uh, seen any action uh, for, for a while so we're going to start off with a lure see if we can draw in a few easier fish at the start maybe even for, uh, some, some of the fresher stocked fish and then take it from there. We're going to start off with a, an intermediate. This will really help us explore the layers. So Eglis Nunith as a rule is not deep. The majority of water you'll be covering is down to 16 foot and 16 foot is going to be the, about the deepest point you will cover in this lake. So even throughout the day if you see the fish coming up in the water it's not rare to see these fish feeding in the middle of the winter on the surface. Um, so don't be, don't automatically think, oh, it's cold, I have to go to a, a, a fast sinking line, especially on Eglos Nenith because of the depth. So a long leader will usually cover the majority of depths. But again, I'm gonna start with an intermediate, just so I can explore the different layers in front of me, perhaps find the fish, and then I can, if need be, change the line according to what I find out. But uh, let's give it a go and see what happens. Moved location, uh, nothing in the uh, in, in the first spot there. As we turned up, there's a, a gent in the bay below us playing a fish, so uh, there's definitely a few around, and actually one just turned in front of us here. So just by seeing that fish turn, just tells me okay, there could be it's getting a little bit warmer, the wind's dropping a little bit, could be a bit more surface activity. So switching over now, going to go on a washing line. So I'm going to keep on the intermediate. We're going to create a, a, a washing line, which will be a very buoyant fly on the point. 
that could be a booby or a, a, a fab, a foam ass blob. Uh, and then just work it out from there with either buzzers <coughs> pardon me, or nymphs above that essentially. But we're going to give that a go just to search the layers again and the beauty with intermediate. Again, I don't have to search right just on the surface. I can actually drop that, uh, you know, probably covering water down to about eight foot here. So I can actually cover all the way down through those layers with this line as well. So, yep, change it over and see what happens. So we just changed over, we were on a fast intermediate, the line was just going down a little bit too much, changed up to a slow intermediate, still fishing the washing line, just shows, you keep uh, rigging the changes and uh, sooner or later something will happen and sure enough, first few casts were slow intermediate, straight into a fish and interestingly enough it actually took the buoyant fly which is the foam mass blob, which is on the point, uh, so the end of the washing line keeping things up, it actually took the foam mass blob which does show the fish, fair enough it's a, a good attractive fly as well, but does show the fish were very willing to come up in the water for it. Look at that, perfect condition, egg loose and then his rainbow. Got to be happy with that, absolutely been perfect. Uh, good morning, this is Tata Game Angling section of uh, Tata Steelwork Sports and Social Club. Membership for the year is £225 plus Sports and Social Club membership which is about £15.60. Day tickets range from £10 for an evening ticket in the summertime, uh, £15 for a purely catch and release ticket and £20 for a three fish plus catch and release. All the information is on our website. We do sell day tickets directly from the fishing lodge uh, where you can uh, pick up a ticket uh, put your money in our in our safe uh, or else join by going on the website as i said uh, the lake itself 260 acres um, of which 70 percent of it is fishable the rest is more of a nature reserve the club has been going since the early 70s the lake was constructed in, uh, started construction in 1963 uh, well before the M4 was constructed there were actually two lakes one either side of the short wall over there the stock probably around about four and a half thousand five thousand fish a season again starting in December and we finished stocking around about End of an enjoyable day at Eglos and Anith. Uh, tough going, but we managed uh, managed a few fish, and that's all that matters. Especially again, where you could have been sat at home on the sofa, you're out here getting some fresh air, getting a couple of fish, enjoying some winter sport. Go out and give it a go. Discover fishing in Wales.